Hello everyone, welcome to part 115 of advanced e-com series in Laravel 8. Uh, so we will continue working on the components module once again and in this video uh, we are going to work on add coupon form where we are going to show all the advanced coupon options. Okay, so a lot more options we are going to do in this video and I have already shown you that what kind of option we are going to show for our advanced coupon functionality okay so all these options we are going to show coupon option a manual or automatic coupon code field um, categories option okay user can able to select one single multiple or all all categories uh, then user option user can uh, uh, that uh, 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 we can able to select uh, the single or multiple users then coupon type single time or multiple time after that uh, amount type we are going to show like percentage wise or fixed wise like in rupees or in dollar then amount field will come then expiry date will come unable disable will come okay so all these kind of fields we are going to work on we are going to add in our add coupon form but first of all i'm going to show the coupons here after banner and after that we will create route function and we'll create its page as well so let's start uh, here uh, i'm going to open uh, that admin sidebar in admin sidebar i will add at the last uh, here i will add i will copy paste this script okay uh, so the same script i will use uh, for uh, coupons and this one i'm going to replace with coupons like this and here also coupons will come and now i'm going to check and here you can see coupons have come up here okay so uh, see here we have uh, uh, we have checked with the session uh, if the session page is having coupons value then it will be active otherwise it will be inactive so for this one uh, we need to uh, open the coupons controller and uh, we need to start the session of uh, uh, as uh, coupons in page okay so for that i am going to go do uh, session here we'll start session and uh, here i'm going to put uh, in page session i'm going to put coupons okay so that it will work fine so that it will be able to select so i will refresh uh, okay we need to add session at the top as well okay so also add the session at the top of coupon controller and now refresh now you can see the coupon is highlighted every time if we will open the coupon module coupon will highlight it. like others module will get highlighted you can see uh, if we will click on coupon module coupon will highlight it at the left sidebar of the admin panel okay so after this one let's come to this one add coupon we form we want to create so for that uh, we will create the route for it okay so let's create the route here after update coupon status we will create the route for add edit coupon so see we are going to do in the same way like we have done earlier we will add the common route for both add and edit coupon okay uh, like uh, we have done for banners like we have done for products here you can see if you are adding product okay see route will remain the same add hyphen edit hyphen product and if you are editing only the id will come up for the edit form like if you will edit see route will remain the same but only the parameter will come at the last like add hyphen edit hyphen product slash one so in the same way we are going to do for the coupons okay so uh, we will uh, create the similar kind of route that we have created for products and other modules okay so here i'm going to create the route route match do uh, that uh, get and post okay we can give in small like we used to do earlier get and post and after that uh, uh, we are going to make it add edit coupon and after that uh, we are going to add coupon controller and here add edit coupon okay so this is the route that we have added for our coupon module for adding and editing coupon okay so uh, 
here uh, you can see that this is the coupon for add but uh, we will also add here uh, slash id and id is not mandatory it's optional it is come for edit only so we will add the question mark here and we'll end the curly bracket like this like we have done for add edit by uh, banner uh, slash id okay here you can see or add edit uh, uh, attribute you can see no not attribute uh, you can see in product module also this one same thing uh, here you can see add edit add hyphen edit hyphen product slash id okay question box see this one okay so this is the optional parameter that will come for edit product so in the same way this is the optional parameter that will come for edit coupon otherwise like if we will call this route it will work for add coupon functionality and if we will call for this complete route then it will work for edit coupon functionality so same route uh, will be used for and add as well as for edit okay we are creating such kind of route or routes right from the beginning of this series if you have seen uh, but in basic e-commerce series uh, we are doing the separate routes like add route is different edit route is different uh, so add form is different add page is different and edit page is different add function is different edit function is different but here we are making everything common uh, so that uh, our code uh, look good uh, it is better code that we have done earlier and it is the short code okay uh, means better short more fast means so it is much improved code that we are writing for our advanced ecom series okay so uh, this is the function that we want to create in our coupons controller here we can create this function now public uh, function uh, add edit coupon and here uh, we will pass the id see id will be as null it can come or it can't come okay so it is uh, like if the id comes here then it means that it is it this function will work for the edit coupon and if the id will not come then this function will work for the add coupon okay so we will assign null to the id that it can be uh, id can be there or may not be there okay so uh, after that uh, we will add here condition also like if dollar id um, equal to equal to null in case it does not come okay so in case the id is empty then it means that this is the add coupon okay so add coupon functionality will be here then uh, we will do like this like dollar coupon and uh, uh, we will write the code for adding the new coupon like we used to do new coupon okay then we will add the code for the new coupon okay and our title will be uh, the title for our blade file will be uh, add coupon okay so this one uh, we must write like this okay so here in case of else okay in case of else it means it is for the uh, edit coupon or update coupon update coupon it means that we are updating the coupon here uh, we are going to write the code uh, like we need to find the coupon from the id from the specific id so we will write like this find dollar find dollar from dollar id okay and the title uh, will be like edit coupon okay edit coupon see i am writing this code in advance otherwise you can also add it later on this thing must not confuse you okay uh, see this one like for adding coupon we uh, need to write like this and for updating coupon we need to write like this because we want to update the specific coupon that we will compare from this id this coupon id and rest of the query will remain same that will come under the post method okay but post method we will only write whenever we are ready to submit the form still we have not make, made the page still we have not made the form so first of all we will make the form then we will work back on here okay so but we are going to return view and uh, i'm going to create uh, inside coupons folder this file add edit underscore coupon here i am going to add the uh, add coupon form 
and I will also send uh, here uh, to this one I will send the uh, title as well as the coupon okay so see coupon is not ready right now but I can still send it okay like this that is fine now I am going to create this add edit coupon file inside our coupon folder I am going to open econ resources views uh, admin mm, here is our coupons folder inside this I am going to create the file uh, I will do like this uh, new terminal at folder you know how to create the file in your windows okay uh, here I am going to create like the touch add edit uh, coupon uh, dot blade dot php like this and we can check the file has been created I am going to open the file here add edit uh, coupon uh, okay so the file is ready now see now we will not write the code from the scratch we are already having uh, that uh, sort of uh, uh, pages like uh, we are having uh, in product module as well okay so we can copy um, from any of the module either we can copy this one or we can copy uh, this one uh, from the brand module as well or we can copy fro from this banner module as well okay so we can copy from any of the module and we can uh, use the same form okay so let's copy from a banner module like add edit uh, uh, banner okay so i am going to copy this complete paste to add edit coupon then i'm going to make changes i will do like this okay and i will simply make the banners to coupon i will check everywhere and will make it a coupon okay so after that i will remove also whatever we want to remove i will remove don't worry mm, see i just quickly uh, change uh, all uh, banner to coupon then I will remove the unwanted code everywhere uh, okay so once again coupon so I know that uh, uh, this is a bit tricky but uh, uh, we can do like this to save time and this is all done okay now I will remove the unwanted code from here see uh, uh title coupon image is uh, not required at all i will remove this one okay so uh see here uh i am going to create the form now and for form uh, we need to ready for the uh, coupon option that we want to uh, write here so first of all we are going to open this one so i will add this coupon option and we'll make uh, radio button uh, for manual or automatic okay so let's see uh, I'm going to copy this one here and I will make it like uh, coupon option and here I'm going to move this one and here I will add some span and after that I will add like input type uh, type is radio and name i'm going to write like uh, coupon option coupon option like this okay and uh, here uh, then the value can be automatic uh, okay so here I'm going to write like uh, value here automatic and here uh, okay so I'm going to give here automatic and uh, after that uh, I will give some spacing as well like uh, we can give NBSP here okay so in the same way i'm going to add one more and here i'm going to add the manual okay so manual i will add here like this okay so i will 
check once and here also i will add the coupon option okay so uh, that looks fine and here uh, i will add uh, that uh, uh, coupon code uh, in case uh, manual option will get selected then we will make it coupon code okay uh, so here i'm going to make uh, coupon underscore code and uh, we can remove the unwanted now right now we will not do this coup under coupon code like this okay so i'm going to see but uh, first of all uh, all this unwanted uh, columns we can remove no shoe we can keep it like this uh, we will remove later on uh, but uh, here i am going to check coupons then add coupon here you can see the add coupon is coming fine and here you can see the automatic and manual is coming okay so that is coming fine so after coupon option we can also add break okay uh, yeah now it looks fine and also we can give one one psp here as well and you can check now now it seems to be fine okay but here see we if we click on manual then we will open the coupon code uh, otherwise we will not open this one uh, so here we can do uh, style display none okay it has been removed uh, so these one I will also move from here okay so now uh, see uh, one more ID I'm going to give here uh, like uh, I will give coupon field like this and I will enable it uh, from jQuery every time if we click on manual okay and we, if we will click on automatic then we will hide it again okay so I am going to update our front script here I am going to update at the last here i'm going to add the script like uh, uh, automatic okay mm. uh, show show hide coupon field for manual automatic okay like this now here see if we select uh, here manual okay uh, see if we will select here manual I, I will uh, check once again mm, there what we have done this one now we can move okay so here see uh, I am going to take it as uh, ID as well okay so like uh, input ID uh, we can do automatic coupon we can do like this automatic coupon and here i will take it like uh, manual coupon okay like this manual coupon okay so uh, if the id uh, we are going to select the manual coupon id okay here i am going to take it like if the id selected is the manual coupon okay uh, then uh, then in the click function if someone click on uh, manual coupon then uh, here if someone click on manual coupon then uh, we are going to uh, uh, add that coupon field that we have uh, added that div okay coupon field div uh, we are going to show okay coupon field we are going to show and uh, uh, here this one copy and here okay so so uh, automatic 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 in case of automatic coupon uh, then we are going to hide it okay 
so now we are going to check here see if we will click on automatic that is fine if we click on manual okay so still it is not coming mm, automatic coupon uh, then we are hiding coupon field if it is manual coupon then we are showing coupon field okay it seems to be fine mm, coupon field is here no issue uh, but why it is not working we need to check once oh sorry for uh, the big issue here i have added in front script but i need to add this one in admin script okay so i will move this code uh, this one it must not come here it must come in admin script okay so don't this foolish mistake at your end okay so now we are going to check now see automatic and manual now it is working fine okay you can see now it is working fine i am thinking that why it is not working because i have done the silly mistake here adding this complete script in front script okay we are not working on the front end okay so this front script is for the front end of the website okay and this admin script is for the admin panel is for the back end of the website okay so we will uh, take care of this thing okay so now i have added the script in admin uh, ad admin script now it is working fine okay you can check it out so this is our requirement okay so now after adding the coupon option the next one to add uh, see we have seen the coupon option is coming and for manual we are showing the field okay and for automatic it will automatically generate that we will generate from the code itself okay uh, and now see this one coupon code we are already showing this part is done okay uh, so after this one we are going to show the categories option okay so categories option we are going to show in the same way like we have shown in products module here you can see in add product we are showing the categories like this so in the same way we are going to show okay all the categories we are going, going to show but but we can able to select the multiple categories okay here we can only select the single category but but in coupons we want to show the multiple categories together because the you, know, you can able to select the multiple categories coupon can be for the multiple categories not for all coupon can be for the all the categories okay or even the single category or even the multiple categories so we need to enable the multiple option here okay so let's see uh, i'm going to copy that uh, uh, script uh, okay so first of all i will add here uh, in edit, edit coupon i will add that sections categories and subcategories uh, i will get those uh, so that we can return to our blade file to show there in our coupons uh, module okay here in added coupon blade file uh, so i will open the press controller so because uh, we no need to do everything from the scratch if we have the code we need to use that code okay if you have all already made some code we can use that code so here uh open the press controller of the admin panel not for the ad. okay so here open the add edit product and here you can see we have already this one section with categories and subcategories so we can simply copy this one and paste it here okay simple thing and this categories we can pass it over to our blade file okay so now we are having the section category and subcategories all the sections all the categories and all the subcategories and we are passing this one to our blade file so uh, once again uh, here uh, we are going to add uh, uh, so we will add here uh, that uh, select box in the same way uh, like we have added earlier okay uh, so i will add here here i will add okay so here i will add i will just copy from here so that i can have uh, something and this one is not required though and here i will add categories sorry 
select categories okay so here i will make it like uh, this one is not required this one will copy from there and here we will write categories okay so i will open the add edit uh, edit product module and we are going to copy that select category okay simple enough we are already having this code so we can simply copy this one and we can simply paste here okay nothing to worry about we are already having this code we have made at the time of product module and if you have missed that you need to watch it okay you need to go to earlier video if you don't remember you can watch that video again where we have shown the select categories in our add edit product form okay the same thing we require here see only the addition that we are going to do here we will add the multiple here because we can select the multiple so we will just add the multiple here and we can remove this one okay and also one more addition we can, are going to do uh, here we will replace it with the categories and we are going to make it array okay because here we are going to take the array for the multiple option like this okay so only these changes we need to do and now i'm going to save and we'll check it out let's see okay so we need to include this section model in our coupons controller okay here we can include use a section like this and now we can check again and here you can see and uh, here you can see we able to show the categories select categories okay and we can show the we can select the multiple categories here you can see we can able to add the multiple categories see we can only able to add the categories or subcategories we uh, we are not allowed to add the sections okay like in the same way for the product okay so we can select the categories or subcategories okay we can select all the subcategories and categories as well so you can do like this uh okay so it seems to be fine but uh, here we need to see uh, why this uh, option is coming here yeah? and uh, for this one uh, let's check it out add edit coupon here categories second categories this id we can move here id is not required and now we are going to check yeah now it is fine okay so uh, now it is fine uh, see categories uh, i think we have used for the data table earlier categories id so uh, we can change its id if we require okay uh, so right now we can keep the name only uh, at the time of validation we are going to see that what id we can give to this field so now we can able to select the categories as well and after that we are going to select the users uh, okay and we will show other fields as well okay uh, and we will continue working on the add coupon form in next video as well so stay tuned for that okay we will start from here where we are left in this video okay so stay tuned for the next video where we will finish the add coupon and and after that we able to add the coupon as well in our coupons table okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye